Hello everyone, it's Wilson here. Today let's talk about writing this given linear equation in the slope intercept form. As you can see that this equation is in the standard form. The standard form looks like ax plus by is equal to c. And so as you can see that the a is a 2, the, uh, the b is the negative 3, and then the c is a 6. So that is the standard form. Now to, re to write this equation in the slope intercept form, we actually need to write it as the y equals mx plus b, where this m is the slope and then the b actually will give you the y-intercept right because it's going to be what zero and then b for the y-intercept so now how do we write it in this form the way to do it is simply just to get the y by itself so that means uh, we are solving for y okay we are solving this equation for y so now how do we do that well, first, we need to isolate the y on the left side of the equation. So that means we need to get the 2x to the other side of the equation. So that means we can subtract 2x from both sides of the equation. Okay, so that's what we are doing here. And then as you can see that if we subtract the 2x, those two will get canceled. And so we are left with just the negative 3y on the left side of the equation. Just one thing to keep in mind is that we need to make sure that we can uh, we keep the sign as you can see that it should be negative 3y instead of just 3y okay so negative 3y on the left side and then what about this one they are not like turns because the 6 doesn't have an x so we gotta just leave it as it is and actually instead of writing it this way we can write it as negative 2x plus 6 instead of 6 minus 2x either way is okay but then um, the reason for why I want to keep the x in the front is really because I'm going to write it in the mx plus b, right? So the x is in the front, so I'm just going to leave it like this. Okay, so far we have the negative 2x move to the right side. And then now, how do we get the y by itself? We have the negative 3 attached to the y, right? So we need to divide both sides by negative 3. So we can do this. So we divide both sides by negative 3. And now when we divide both sides by negative 3, we need to divide this by negative 3 and then you may say so we just divide the negative 2x by negative 3 or the 6 as well we actually need to do it to uh to both turns okay so you gotta ask yourself how many turns do i have on this side we have negative 2x as one turn and then the positive 6 as the other turn so we need to divide by negative 3 here and then also this one okay and then as you can see that those two will get canceled. Now they cancel becomes a one. The, that cancellation becomes zero. So that one is subtraction. This one is division. So they're different. Okay. So now after the cancellation, we are left with just the Y over here. Okay. And then what about this one? This one, there is nothing much that we can do. The negative signs can get canceled. So we are having two over three and then X. And then what about this one? This one is six divided by negative three. So we get negative 2. So now we have the equation in the slope intercept form because as you can see here, there is some number times x plus some other number, which is the same form as this one. And so as you can see from here that the m, the slope, is what? Is actually just 2 over 3. And then what about the y-intercept? The y-intercept, as you can see from here, um, is not just 2, it's actually negative 2. So the point would be 0 and then negative 2. Okay, so that's it for this problem. We will do more examples next time. Thank you for watching.